In 2011, building on previous reports, the Circular Head Council commissioned the Smithton Leisure and Recreation Development Plan. The plan was commissioned to study the provision of recreation facilities across three key sites in Smithton, to undertake consultation with stakeholders and provide recommendations regarding existing sporting facilities. The consultants were also asked to recommend a preferred site for a new indoor aquatic facility. The three key sites examined were the Circular Head Community and Recreation Centre, the Smithton Sports Centre and the existing pool site. During the development of the plan and upon reviewing related urban development plans and reports concerned with the future planning of Smithton's central business district, the consultants recommended a fourth possible site in relation to a new aquatic centre. This central CBD site on council-owned land subsequently became the plan's recommended site for the development of a new aquatic leisure centre that would be a combined health and well-being facility. Before we go over some of the pros and cons of each site, we will summarise the development principles and trends in modern recreation which formed part of the thinking behind the final recommendations of the report. Trends in leisure and recreation indicated that Circular Head needed a recreation and leisure centre that broadly promotes health and well-being for the whole community. Not just a sports hub and not a pool in a shed, a new version of the existing facility. The nature of aquatic facilities and the uses that are made of them has changed extensively since the original pool was built in the late 1950s and these changes reflect the changing nature of sport and recreation in Australia, the ageing of the population, a greater focus on fitness, health and well-being and the recognition of the important contribution aquatic facilities can make to community health. The report also talked about the principle of co-location. This is the gathering together of multiple users rather than having the facility owned by one user. The co-location principle is derived from the fact that single standalone facilities and activities struggle these days to retain viability and that communities cannot afford to continue to make such provision. Similarly, the pr principle of co-location reflects the fact that when community resources are used to provide community facilities, no group should have the right to claim exclusive use of them. To be effective, viable and to meet changing community needs, any new aquatic centre should also offer as wide as practicable a range of fitness, health and wellbeing facilities and program opportunities. The new facility may include a separate health or pro and program pool, fitness gymnasium, multi-purpose program rooms for everything from children's parties, yoga um, and other meetings, consulting rooms for the delivery of allied health services and a social or cafe space. So we will now look at the p positives and negatives, as the report saw them, of each of the four sites in relation to a new aquatic centre. First, the Circular Head Community and Recreation Centre. The report saw the positives here as the fact that the aqu a new aquatic centre could be integrated with the existing CRC facilities, infrastructure and management and the fact that this site is all council owned. The negatives on this site were that it could be perceived as a football club pool and that there would be an incongruous mix of users between the CRC and a new aquatic centre. There would be insufficient parking at times for both aquatic centre and CRC patrons and in fact there is limited space for a really comprehensive aquatic centre on this site. 
Second site, the Indoor Sports Centre, the positives here included that it is relatively close to schools and still within walking distance of the town centre. The management of the new aquatic centre could be linked to that of the Indoor Sports Centre. Again, the land is council owned. The negatives seen for this site were a lack of car parking, a new car park would need to be developed, and that it sits in an industrial location. There are minimal co-location opportunities on this site, for example a cafe or allied, allied health consulting rooms because of the location. Number three, the existing pool site. Positives include the connections to and economic spin-offs for local businesses. It's an attractive parkland setting with connections and access to Emmett Street. It would continue the historic location of the swimming facility and it is again predominantly council owned land. The negatives on this site included that this option may require the purchase of the Girl Guides building and land and it may require the relocation or demolition of the crèche facility. It, car parking w would need to be expanded on this site. Number four is the central CBD site. The positives here included that it utilises the existing car park and internal vehicular connections. It maximises connections to and economic spin-offs for surrounding local businesses. It has connections and access to four surrounding CBD streets and the land is council owned. The negatives here that increased car parking and vehicular movement will require careful planning. In fact a traffic and parking study will be required for any site that's finally chosen by council. In conclusion the report noted, and I quote, in reviewing the proposed options with other findings from community consultation and in applying the development principles to the selection of a preferred site the consulting team arrived at a strong view that the best location for Smithston's aquatic facility is at the core of the town centre." Unquote. So in 2012, Council invited four leading architectural practices to produce concepts illustrating how they would envisage such a centre on the recommended site, with a view to the selection of a concept which suggested the most creative solution. This solution also needed to maximise connections and urban design outcomes to benefit and help consolidate the centre of Smithton. Liminal architecture of Hobart were endorsed as the winning concept, the winning architect by council. Now let's look over some of the concept ideas for the preferred site. This bubble diagram illustrates the layout of the facility over the preferred site and highlights critical considerations such as vehicular access, car park expansion, frontage to Nelson Street and a passive solar northern facade. Here is a bird's eye view of the site. This image shows the building in the context of the streetscape of Nelson Street at the bottom of the picture and how it is designed to complement the area. Note the long northern glass facade. This is further demonstrated by this illustration which shows the Nelson Street facade which would certainly add a pleasing contemporary element to this part of town. And the last slide, which shows a concept sketch of a light-filled interior social space. So in conclusion, Circular Head Council sees the provision of a new aquatic leisure centre as a major opportunity to value add for the community. More than an aquatic centre, it can be a dynamic social and recreational hub for the whole municipality. Council has a vision for an exciting and appealing centre to which the community will respond with pride. 
with its range of possible activities, interesting external spaces and connections to the surrounding CBD of Smithton, the new complex should represent a bold new endeavour by the community. One that helps to revitalise and refocus the centre of town as well as provide a state of art, state of the art leisure and recreation facility. The site plans and concept ideas will be on display at the Strategic Projects Office, 20A Smith Street, Smithton, at the rear of the new public toilets until the end of June 2012. For information or to view the concept ideas and site plan options, please arrange a time with the Strategic Projects Office by ringing 6452-4880. Comments can be made be at any time before 5pm the 29th of June 2012, either in writing address to the General Manager or posted onto Council's Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Circular Head Council, one word. You will need to log on into Facebook in order to make comment on the page. <coughs>